Hi and welcome everyone. So today I'm going to be going over Microsoft Excel 2016. So if you've watched my Word tutorials, um, hopefully you have. At this point we're hopping into Microsoft Excel. So first thing we have to know is how to open the programs, how to save the programs, and how to navigate around the programs. So Excel is going to be a little bit different from Microsoft Word. So let's take a look here at my screen. And you'll notice that I use Excel a lot, so I pin it right there on my taskbar. Um, and so I also have it pinned under the Microsoft Office suite in my um, in my start menu. But if you don't know if you have Excel or you don't know how to open Excel, you just press the Windows key and you type EXC and uh, or you start to type Excel rather and you'll see that it'll pop up if you do have it. So I'm going to click it to open it up. Uh, we see that it opens similarly to Word and then we see along the left side recent documents and then we see templates over here. I'm going to open up a blank workbook today. That way you can see what it looks like when you open it up. So we see the workbook here. Uh, you may have uh, noticed that it also has similar tabs to Word. And so there we go. We see all the tabs up top and then we see some groups down below and all of the buttons along the ribbon are here. So we notice that some of the buttons are the same like increase font size, decrease font size, font colors, all these different things as well as uh, some alignment buttons are the same but we see a lot of different buttons that are or a lot of buttons that are different. So go ahead and just get yourself familiar with all of these different buttons um, but today I'm not really going to show you too much about uh, tasks in Word. I'm going to show you about how to navigate around this program. So it's a lot different from, uh, you know, Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word, you click somewhere, you type, you look at your formatting, um, and it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. With Microsoft Excel, you're dealing with cells. So inside of uh, Microsoft Excel, we see all of these different letters up top, A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. These are called your columns, and they go all the way down. And if you click on each of the letters or the space next to the letters, you're going to see that it will choose those columns as you click. Then we see over here, one, two, all the way down, uh, we see these are your rows over here. So as we click along those, it'll move along those rows as well. So if I wanted to click on an area inside of, uh, say, column C and along row 5, that would put me right here at C5, which we could see listed right up here in our name box. And the great part about that is that um, this is called a cell. So column C, row 5, takes us to cell C5. So as you navigate around this program, you're going to want to uh, type within these cells. So I'm just going to type, uh, let's say, the word uh, calculator here. Okay. Oops, calculator. Um, now, as I type calculator, all I have to do is just start typing after I click on the cell, and it'll start to type. Now, if I want to move to the right, I press tab, and that'll move me to column D. So then here I'm going to type pencil. All right. Now, I mentioned earlier that tab moves us to the right. Uh, also, the right arrow will move you to the right. Okay. Uh, and then here I will type pen. Okay. Now, to go down, you would just press enter, and that'll take you down. Okay, so that enter takes you down or the down arrow will take you down. Left arrow takes you to the left, up arrow takes you up. Now the reason that I say use tab and enter instead of using the arrow directional keys is because let's say that we had calculator, pencil, and pen and we had to put prices for each of them below on uh, say different dates. Let's go January. How much are we paying for a calculator in January, February? so on and so forth and let's say March too okay and I fill in these dates and let's just say I fill them all down and I'll show you how to do these tricks later on but let's say I wanted to just fill in the data here right how much did each of these cost all right and I need to fill in the data in that area well I would just start to fill in the data and I'm pressing tab in between each one and obviously these are very expensive prices for pencils and pens but you get the point point. and so I type in all of those things now if I press enter after the third one, it's actually going to take me down to the next row. So I prefer tab and enter as opposed to left and right, because if I type all this data using left and right, and then I get to here, then I have to press down, left, 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 and it just takes extra time. So again, tab and enter are going to be your main way of entering data, and the directional arrows will just help you kind of move around the different cells, in addition to just clicking on the cells themselves. In order to highlight cells, you just click within a cell, and you drag all the way over and down to whatever range you want. 
Okay, so that's how you move within the cells. Um, I'm going to go over plenty of tips throughout this playlist and uh, tutorial to where you're going to be navigating around this program uh, very, very easily. However, this uh, particular one is just to show you exactly what I showed you, just the backdrop, what it looks like, uh, what these, uh, what Excel, how it functions, how to move around the program, very, very basic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this file. So here's how you save in Excel. You go to File tab and you go to Save As. If you're saving it for the first time, you just click Save As and you go right here to Browse. And I'm just going to save this one on my desktop for now and I'll just call it Book 1. All right, and then I press save, and that's how you save your Excel workbook. So this tutorial is going to, or uh, this playlist rather, is going to cover a bunch of different things in Microsoft Excel, um, as well as whatever video requests you have. So if you have a request for a video, put it in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, again, uh, this channel is user driven, so really whatever you guys uh, want to learn in these programs, I'm happy to make a video on it. So go ahead and make a request if you have one. Thank you for watching.